Properly photographing textures is essential, yet so many people are doing it wrong. Or maybe not wrong, but it could be better. Perspective is very important in traditional photography, but when photographing textures, the less the better. This is a piece of gear I use in electronic music production. It's perfect for demonstrating this effect. Check out this image taken with a 24mm lens at about a foot away. If you look at the center, everything looks fine, but as we get closer to the outside edge, you'll start to notice that not only can you see the surface of the knob that faces the camera, you can also see parts of the side as well. This is an issue if you project the image onto an object in Blender, so how can we fix this? Simple. Just back the camera up. Here's the same image, but with the camera twice as far away and a 50mm lens. It looks better, but what if we took it to the next level? What if we use a telephoto lens? That's right, telephoto lenses aren't just for perverts. They actually have many legitimate uses, such as photographing wildlife and portraits, and now we can add photographing textures for CG to that list. Here's the same shot, but with a 500mm lens at about 30 feet away. The perspective is virtually gone, and now we have an image that is ready to be taken into Blender and turned into a 3D model. So I've used this image as a reference first for the modeling to get everything in the right place. And now I'm just going to select all of the faces and project the image onto it. Now I'm just going to line things up a little better. And I think it actually looks really good. This would have been impossible without a telephoto lens. So the next time you plan on photographing your own textures, just remember, in general, the longer your lens, the better.